Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be actually just testing the complete setup of the Holybro Kakute all-in-one flight controller with the Tico 32 ESCs. Now I've already done a overview video and a setup guide for the Holybro Kakute all-in-one flight controller. If you missed that, I'll leave a link down below. And if um and if you missed the just the ESC test of the Tico 32, I'll leave a link to that down below to see it. So today's video is just going to be of us putting the whole package together, running some very hard um, noise into the system and watching its overall performance while recording the DVR footage and seeing how well it copes. However, I have not added any kind of filtration from LC filter to uh, low ESR capacitors. I've just connected them together and ran the test. However, as you can see here, I have this bench, this, this RC benchmark thrust stand here. Uh, this is basically the same one that uh, Hollybro, uh, not Hollybro, Brother Hobby uses in their manufacturer. And this one's highly scriptable. I've, I've written a couple scripts for it, uh, which has different intensity of noise being generated. So I have my usual one for everything, and then I have extra ones that are pushed even harder uh, when I have such a very good ESC. And this is one of the ESCs that I actually had to push very hard, and it's still performing absolutely beautiful. So um, this test is just going to be about us uh, testing this whole setup all together while recording the um, oscilloscope, the noise reading, as well as recording the DVR footage and just seeing its overall performance if we do get any OSD flickers. And I will be putting this on to extreme level of testing and not my normal type of testing because it just passes that beautiful. So um, yeah, well, enough talking and let's get started. Alright guys, so as you saw it, it was absolutely beautiful. I saw a couple little tiny lines, but that was high freak high frequency noise, which really does not affect anything because I've been doing a lot of that testing with simulated noise and it just performs absolutely stunningly beautiful. And what makes the flight controller shine here, these ESCs, if you were to put them on any flight controller, uh, the flight controller should in theory perform just beautiful um you know th these are these are probably s some of the cleanest this would be in my top two uh esc list of purchase which is the tico 32 and the dys aria however here on the bench testing it's proving to be actually better than the dys aria and um I'm, I'm very impressed because the filtration on this on this ESC is absolutely stunning. Um, I bet you if I could pick up any flight controller with no filtration, even towards the OSD, uh, we, we in theory, we should not have any single issue. Um, I am yet again impressed, and um, I just wanted to show you guys the complete setup like I promised, and um, it just doesn't disappoint. And so far, it's looking absolutely beautiful, and now what's left is for us to build it and do the real world testing of every single aspect of this board. So that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.